What is up YouTube? It's Ambig Zero with another Visual Basic tutorial. Uh, today we're going to make a little uh, notepad, a little uh, text editor. And I'll show you how to open and save text files. We'll be using stream readers, open file dialog, save file dialog. Um, cool stuff. So start a new Windows form application in Visual Basic and let's get started. Um, what we're going to do is create the GUI first, the graphical user interface. Um, the nicer your GUI is, the more people want to like buy your program or use it, however you're going to do this. So what I did was add a uh, tool strip, uh, a, uh, I'm sorry, a, yeah, a tool strip, I was right, a tool strip, and what I'm going to do is add a drop down button, <clears throat> change the display to text, and type in file, like we are all used to seeing. And then that gives us this little drop down, and we're going to add an open button and a save as button. Uh, next, what we need is a rich text box, which is in the R's. Uh, there we go. And what I'm going to do is dock that in the parent container. And that just fills up the rest of the screen. Okay, so. We have everything we need, except we also need to add an open file dialog and a save file dialog. And there's two ways to do this. We can actually drag it in, um, like right here, save file dialog. Now I can put that in here and then just call it like that, or we can do it all through code. Um, and each way is just as easy. I just want to show you guys how to do it in code because um, some people, it will really help them understand what's happening. So let's get started. Click uh, file and double click open or not that way, double click open. Okay, and now what we can do is get started. So let's dim, uh, what we need to do first is get the file location uh, of the text file we wanna open. So dim OFD as new open file dialog. That's the same thing as just clicking and dragging the open file dialog from the toolbox onto the form, except we did it in code. So now what we need to do is show it. So OFD dot show dialog, sorry, show dialog. And what that will do is come up with a little pop-up box that you're all used to seeing where you can choose your file. Now, after they choose their file, they're gonna get um, the file location. So let's type uh, dim FL as string. Okay, so after we show the dialog, what we wanna do is get the file name. So FL, uh, equals OFD dot file name. And all we did was make it so that when they choose a file, it will get the directory and the file name and extension, and it'll all be contained in the string uh, FL. Uh, if you don't know how to use the strings, I have a tutorial for that um, in the beginning, so go ahead and watch that. Okay, so now we know basically everything we need. So let's do this. Let's start with our stream reader. Dim, all right, I'm sorry. Tab, dim sr as new system.io.streamreader. Okay, now here's something else we need to know. System.io.streamreader. Now, if we had to type this a lot, that would be really annoying. So there's a really there's an easy way to do this. So let's uh, erase system.io and make this shorter for ourselves. Now what we need to do is uh, import the class system.io, and what, this will actually do it for us. Uh, anytime you get this little error box, it just means that um, there's something wrong and you could fix it. So what we could do is change stream reader to io.streamreader. Same thing we did, except uh, we don't actually need to type in system, or we can import system.io. So let's do that. And up top, we get imports system.io. Now anything that uses that class, we don't have to type in anymore. Okay, so I think we're good. And let's just add a parenthesis here and type in FL. Now all that means is it's going to create a new stream reader of FL. So now it can um, openly work with the file. So what we're going to do is type in sr.read to end. And what's going to do is uh, basically what it says, stream the file, read it from start to beginning, and uh, that's all we need to do. And then what we can do is just type in sr.close. 
Okay, so we opened FL, we read the file to the end, and now we have uh, closed the stream reader. So now you're probably wondering what happened to the text. We didn't tell VB.net where to put everything that it read. So we read the file to the end, but that didn't really do anything. So what we have to do is place that somewhere. So let's do this rich text box one dot text equals sr dot read to end. So now what we've done is made it so that all of the data inside the text file then moves to the rich text box. So that should work. Let's test it out. Here's our form, file open, and we get the open file dialog. Uh, the OFD, and now what we do is get the file name right here, file name. So I created YouTube.txt, which is right here, open, and here we go. It opened up the text file. Hello YouTube, thanks for watching, give a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Okay, next what we have to do is create the uh, save dialog. Okay, so I'm going to close this, and let's get to the uh, save part. Double click Save As. And what we're going to do is something very similar to the um, open file dialog. Same thing exactly, actually. Uh, dim uh, SFD for save file dialog. You can name it whatever you want. As new save file dialog tab. Um, and then what we're going to do is create a string again. Uh, dim SV or sorry dim SV as string and now what we need to do is show the save file dialog so SFD dot show dialog and then we gotta do the same thing again where we have to uh, create the SV to the file dialog uh, file name so SV equals save file dialog dot file name <clears throat> okay, so um, same thing as the dim uh, sr as new stream reader. All we're going to do now is create a stream writer. Uh, same thing. So dim uh, sw as new stream writer. And we'll put in sv. Okay, and now it's uh, this simple. SW.write and then the text. So rich, rich text box one dot text. And then, of course, we have to close it dot close. And again, that easy. Let's start it up. Let's open the text file. change it up. Thank you for watching way to spell watching this tutorial. See you next time. And file save as and what we'll do is save it as a new file and we'll call it uh, thank you dot txt save. And let's see if that worked. Thank you, dot text. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I'll see you guys next time.